what does it look like when you're working with someone and they just seem to not want to do it? They just don't want to help themselves. What is really going on? What is that process like? My name is 3 Plus Key. I'm your favorite social worker. I'm here to encourage you to pursue the smile by prioritizing the Lord, your physical health, and persistent education. Today we're going to be talking about the five stages of change. Now, the five stages of change um, was initially a recovery model, but today we're going to talk about it broadly in the scope of social services. So the five stages of change are pre-contemplation, contemplation, contemplation, preparation, action, and maintenance, those five. Ambivalence is most likely to be experienced during the process of considering change when motivation is shifting from low to high. So again, the five stages of change are pre-contemplation, contemplation, preparation, action, and maintenance. Let's start with pre-contemplation. In this stage, a person may or may not be aware of a problem, but they do not intend on changing the behavior. So let's use our friend Shayla. Shayla comes in. She's seeking housing support for an unexpected rent increase, which is a common occurrence in our economic climate today. But she's um, she's received an unexpected rent increase. She doesn't generate enough income to cover this rent increase um, or to move into a different place of residence. Shayla does understand that her financial situation is impacting her housing, but she's unwilling, whatever the reason may be, to get a second job or to change jobs. So the primary problem here is housing. She received a rental increase and doesn't have the money. But what does it look like to get the money? We need another job or we need additional income. But Shayla just for whatever reason, does not want to get another job. The second stage of change in this equation is contemplation. In this stage, a person realizes that a behavior is a problem and considers the pros and cons of changing. So back to our friend Shayla, she realizes at this point that her current job is insufficient and she begins the process of weighing the effort and outcomes of seeking more gainful employment. So it could be she likes her job and wants to stay there or she's scared of change um, or she doesn't want anybody to be mad at her for changing a job. Whatever the case may be in this contemplation uh, contemplation. Uh, stage of change she's weighing the pros and cons the the effort and the outcomes it would take to to uh, get this job that would provide for this rental increase the third stage of change is preparation in this stage a person has committed to change and is aware that the benefits of change outweighs the negatives they are also actively seeking information to help them so shayla has decided yay to go to the job service agency to find work that pays more and or has more hours for her to work Um, She's working with her housing support social worker to figure out what type of housing she can afford. Shayla's actively taking notes in these scenarios. So she went to the job service agency to figure out what does it look like to get additional um, income or increased income for that primary problem of housing. But really... um, You know, she also needs to determine, can I afford to live where I live right now? Is the rent too much? What does it look like to move to a different location? And then do I downsize in bedrooms? Do I live outside of the city? What does that look like? So she's working with the job agency and the housing support social worker. That's the uh, preparation and preparation of a change. The fourth stage of change is action. In this stage, uh, a person takes proactive steps to change their behavior, such as setting goals, developing new habits, 
or seeking professional help. So our good friend Shayla goes to the job service now. She creates the resume. She interviews for several jobs and then she begins employment. She is taking the steps and then solidifying um, those outcomes. So now she has the new job which will pay more so she can stay where she's at, which is less stress than moving or seeking alternative housing. And finally, this fifth stage of change is maintenance. In this stage, a person sustains new behaviors and habits and works to prevent relapse or going back to their old ways. So what this looks like for Shayla, she continues to go to work and works diligently at her task. She's not getting fired. <laughs> Shayla is making sure she is maintaining this this new job that's paying her more. With her new wages, she she's able to shoulder the rent increase and keep her housing. And uh, finally, one addendum, if all of this doesn't work, the, the sixth stage would be termination, typically. Um, and that means that more assistance is needed than what you as a social services provider um, can provide. And that's perfectly acceptable. So let's say Shayla did um, none of these. Maybe it's time to um, refer her to the housing authority. Perhaps she needs a case manager for mental health or whatever the case uh, may be. But that's that termination phase. So again, the five stages of change are pre-contemplation, contemplation, preparation, action, and maintenance. Have you ever been in any of those five stages of change? And how did you overcome them? Comment below uh, with your answer. Share this with someone who could benefit from this information. Like this if you love it. And do not forget to hit that subscribe button for more content. I am 3 Plus Key. I'm your favorite social worker. I'm here to encourage you to pursue the smile by prioritizing the Lord, your physical health, and persistent education. And with that, hey, I'll talk to you later.